gonna draw a Pokeball. Yeah, we're gonna draw a folding surprise. That means when you open it up, there's gonna be a Pokemon inside. And which one should we put inside? Pikachu. Yeah, we're gonna draw a Pikachu, but you could really just draw any Pokemon you want. Now, for this lesson, you need something to draw with. We're gonna use markers. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, all right, you ready to start? Yeah. <laughs> now, we actually don't need to use the markers first. We're gonna fold our paper first. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're gonna take the top edge and we're gonna fold it down to the bottom edge. Line it up and then crease it right down the middle and then out to the corners. Good job. Now let's take that top flap and we're gonna fold it back up to the top. Line it up and then crease it down the middle, out to the corners. Oh, Whoa. that's okay. It's a little not lined. <laughs> Not quite lined up, but that's okay, right? Yeah. We just realign it and then crease it down the middle first. Here, go down the middle and then out to the edge. Put both fingers, there you go, good job. Okay, now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna repeat that same step. We're gonna take that top flap, line it up at the top and then down the middle and then out to the corners. Boop, down the middle. There you go. Now we're gonna take that top flap and unfold it. Good job, and then we can flip it over. Now we're ready for our scratch paper. We're gonna put this underneath our drawing paper because we're using markers, and we don't want our marker to bleed through the paper and get onto the table. Now we're ready to use our markers. We're gonna draw a circle for the Pokeball, and half of the circle is gonna be above this fold, and the other half is gonna be below the fold. So it might be a little easier if you start by just drawing half of the circle first on the top. You could start, yeah, right about there. Draw a big upside down U shape. Yeah, and that's okay if our circles look a little different, right? <laughs> yeah. Then we're gonna draw the bottom circle or the bottom half of the circle coming down here and connecting over to the other side also. Good job, buddy. <laughs> That's okay. There's a little more up here than there is down at the bottom. What's the most important thing? To have fun. And to? Practice. Practice. Yeah, we could do this whole lesson over again. And the next time, I promise, it'll turn out even better than the first time. All right, should we keep going? Yeah. Let's draw another circle, a smaller circle, right here. Now, half is going to be on the top, and then the other half is going to be below the fold. Good job. Oh, you're doing such a good job, man. Now I'm gonna draw another circle that just goes barely, it goes right next to the one that we just drew. Right next to it, all the way around. Now I'm gonna turn my paper a little this way so it makes it easier. And I'm gonna draw a line that's above the fold and below the fold. There you go. And then we can do the same thing on the right side above the fold and just barely below the fold. All right, now let's color in. We're gonna color in in between these two lines and also in between our two circles. Now you already kind of <laughs> colored in your side lines, that's okay. Now we're gonna fast forward this part, but you guys can pause the video and take time to color in those parts also. We finished drawing our Pokeball, Austin. Now we're ready to open up our drawing. We're gonna have half of it up here at the top and half down here at the bottom. Yeah, go ahead and flatten out those folds. That'll make it a little easier to draw on. The next part we're gonna do is draw our Pokemon. Now we wanna make sure that we're drawing everything below the top fold and above the bottom fold. That way, when we fold it back up, it's gonna be inside. Is that cool? Yeah. Now, which Pokemon are we gonna draw again? Pikachu. Yeah, Pikachu. Let's first draw, we're gonna keep this really simple. We're, let's first draw his uh, head. We're just gonna draw half of them sticking up. <laughs> so we're gonna draw an upside down U shape. I'm gonna draw it like this. We're gonna come up, around, and back down. <laughs> Good, then let's draw his ears. I'm gonna draw a curve that comes out to the side like this. There you go. You could actually draw bigger. Pikachu has kind of long bunny ears. Oh yeah. <laughs> then we're gonna draw a curve that comes back and connects to his head and we'll leave a little 
space in between where we started. Yeah, let's do, let's repeat that same step over here. I'm gonna draw the same curve line coming off to the side and then coming back to his head. Next on his ears, we're gonna draw a curve, comes down and we're gonna draw that same curve over here on this side. Next, let's color in these two shapes. What should we draw next? His eyes. Okay, let's draw a circle over here on the left and a circle over here on the right. There you go. Another circle. Then we're gonna draw a smaller circle in the top left of each eye. And then let's color in the big circle but leave the little circles white. Remember to pause the video if you need extra time. Now what should we draw? His mouth. His mouth. Let's draw a curved W in between his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna draw him really happy. I'm gonna draw a big <laughs> U shape that comes down. He's really excited to jump out of the Pokeball. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready to attack. And then we're gonna draw his tongue inside. Now what are we missing? His cheeks. Okay, let's draw a half circle. On the left, I'm gonna draw a C-shape, backward C-shape, and a frontward C-shape over here. Okay, now let's draw his arms because he really is excited yeah. to jump out of the Pokeball. <laughs> We're gonna draw an upside down U. We're gonna start here on the side of his body, come up, and then we're gonna come back down. Yeah, then let's do the same thing over here on the right. And we wanna make sure that we don't go below this bottom fold. All right, we did it. We finished drawing our Pokeball folding surprise, except we're still not done. What do we still need to do? Color it. Yeah, we need to color it. Color it. <laughs> this is my favorite part. Now we are gonna fast forward one more time, but remember at the end, you can pause the video again to match the same color. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, we did it. We finished coloring our Pokeball. Now we added this white little circle up at the top. What is that called? Highlight. Yeah, it's a highlight, and that makes our Pokeball look shiny. I also added this dark part over here, or shading. That makes my Pokeball look... 3D. More 3D, yeah, but you could leave that off to keep the lesson a little easier. Now we also need to show our, our friends what's inside, although they know it's Pikachu, right? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, on the count of three, let's do it. Three, three two, two, one. one. Pikachu! <laughs> now we added this extra little detail over here. We added his tail. You can leave that off, but I think our art friends should add even more things to their drawing. What could they add? Like a different Pokemon. Oh, that would be awesome. You could draw a different Pokemon. You wanna make sure that you draw below this top fold and above this bottom fold. That way it's hidden when you fold it back up. Did you have fun? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. And we hope you had a lot of fun too. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. Remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice. We'll see you guys later. We love you. Oh. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Pikachu.